Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Kingdom Come Deliverance tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on visiting the local hunter of Townburg, <coughs> excuse me, and then getting a good night's sleep. So you can see here in the quest log though it's telling you to move on, um, but no you shouldn't. We got that activity from the tanner to bring three ball skins and also I've been gathering some herbs as you can see by my overweightness just one quick word of warning when you're gathering herbs, herbs on this hillside if you stray too far over it will kick into the main storyline so be wary of that don't go too far otherwise it will skip on with the main quest series uh, main quest so stay to this side of the hill and you should be able to get 81 uh, belladonna which you're going to need for your saviour snaps which is very useful so there you are it's very good to load up on belladonna now up here is the hunter and we're going to get some hunting training because hunting is one of my favorite things to do in kingdoms come deliverance it is so fun now you can get a reticle for your bow but it ruins the game, in my humble opinion. Uh, I like to play Kingdom Come Deliverance as the developers intended it. And that means zero mods. Once I've completed the game, then I will look at some of the mods. But the first run through, definitely no mods. I don't want... I want to play the game as the developers intended it, like I say. Right, I'm just going to have a quick wash, if I can. I'm hoping I... Can't end up a lot dirtier. I washed in that hole. Right, no, this, this hunter not even IG. Not got a single bathtub. I don't believe he has. Oh well, we just have to. My faction's not going to be great anyway to start with. Nicholas. Jesus Christ be praised. Some people can teach you. For some lessons you will have to know something already done. There might be more than one trainer for each skill, but there are always four lessons. Be learned. Um, yeah, I mentioned previously there's two skills in Kingdom Come's Deliverance that you have to go to a trainer to learn. One is pickpocketing, which we will get to. And the second is reading, which we will get to. And we will learn the reading skill and get a little bit good at reading before we attempt the alchemy skill. So let's first though get some training from Nicholas. And hunting. And I love hunting. Hunting. At the beginning, hunting is nigh on possible. In other words, you'll probably use up 10 to 20 arrows to shoot one hair. But uh, trust me when I tell you there is a perk that is a game changer for hunting. And you can make a serious amount of money with hunting. And I love it, it's fun. Let's I'd like do you to that. show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. But it's going to cost me. I'd like to practice the basics. Alright, but it'll cost you. Told you so. And it's going to cost me 60 groschen. Uh, that's fine. Now. Pay close attention. Oh, look at that. I've reached a new level in hunt. Cool. Okay, we're going to talk to him again. We're not finished. Now we want to do some trading. So we can't go back to him for any more hunting training until we get our hunting to level 5. And that goes for all skills when you're training them. Start by learning the beginner. And then you have to wait till you reach level 5 in that chosen skill before you can get the next set of training from them. Now here's the items he sells. Uh, so I'm going to get the Joy of Gutting, which is a skill book on hunting. So we can get even more training on it once we learn to read. So we're going to buy that. Uh, the treasure map, mm, money's a bit tight at the moment. And my factions, my reputation's still low. So I'll come back for that. Uh, something that else that I will want is some hunting arrow. So I'm going to buy 30. We're up to 73 groschen. 
Um, now I could get arrows for wounding, for fighting, which you'll notice it says there are many types of arrows available to medieval archery. Wounding and piercing arrows for combat. So there you go. If I want to do combat, then that my archery is going to be rubbish. Having said that, you will still need to use archery in uh, when you go attacking bandit camps because it's a good way of splitting single pulls, getting single pulls. <clears throat> so, for example, excuse me, sorry. If you come across a bandit camp and there's three bandits in there and one of them's roaming around the outskirts of the camp, then you can crouch down and from a very good distance away shoot an arrow. You don't have to hit him, just near him. And then he'll come wandering over to you to see what, who shot the arrow. And if you're lucky, none of his friends will join him. If you're not unlucky, you're going to be running. So, but the, I don't think you need to buy them yet. They're a bit expensive. Money's a bit tight. Money's too tight to mention. So I'm going to go with just what I've got there. Now, selling. Let's see, though. Maybe if I sell him enough of St. John's Wall, it's only worth two. Mind you, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so look. Okay, let's take some out. Yep. See now, though, why I went picking. So, hmm. I'm gonna keep all the rest of my herbs. Five hundred. So let's try to. That's near enough. And we're gonna give him a tip. Hi, cool. Let's talk about the. Aye. And move that up a bit. Give him five groschen. Here you are, with a little top up. Thanks a thousand times. They do like being tipped. I'm still overweight though. Won't be able to sprint. So let's sell them. Let's see how much I'm overweight. Uh, end dialogue. I'm only a tiny bit overweight, so I'm going to see if I can sell a few more herbs. He has got a little bit more money. 51 reputation. I think that went up. So, 20 gold. 20 groschen left. So, let's sell some more. Try 100. No, it's too many. Let's remove. Let's see now if I'm I'd like to discuss the price. I Aye. think I'm still going to be overweight. Give him another tip. Here you are, with a little top up. Thanks a thousand. Okay, check my weight. No, slightly <coughs> over. It did tell me in the trading window that actually. Okay, trade again. Notice my reputation each time I give them a small tip, it's slowly climbing up. Very important for you to do that. Okay, let's sell a few more. Um, what's he got? He's only got two gold. Can't really sell a lot. Yeah. wonder if I can sprint now. We'll try. And I'll oh, mind you. I could buy They only weigh zero point one. I don't want to waste one. They're three groschen. There you go. And that is still not saying overweight, so we'll see if I can jog. I'm going to tip him again. I'd like to discuss the... Aye. 
Here. Well now, thank you. There we go, I can sprint. Right, okay, so we've done that, we've done the selling, we've got the skill book, we got some hunting arrows. Now I'm gonna head back to the inn and have a sleep. Now if I pick the herbs I don't know why. See I'm addicted to picking herbs. I find it very difficult to walk by them without picking. Okay, we can have a wash here. All oh, right, clean them up. Okay, we'll come in here. Got ladder. And we're going to throw everything in the trunk. Everything that I don't need. So. We might need the bandages. Put the belladonna in there, we'll put them in there. Comfrey, anti-irons. Okay, time to use them. Keep my weight to a minimum. We'll see why. Okay, so I've got my weight down to 13. Now what I will need though is steel. Has it cleared? Has the stolen? Oh it has. See now there's no red hand saying they're stolen. So I'm going to grab me. Now this shield that we're going to use, we will be destroying it. So it's important that you don't use your favourite shield. Not that you should have any differently to what I've got here, shield one. So I like this shield, so this is the shield I'm going to use because it's going to get to zero durability. We'll take that. Okay, let's come out of there. Go into my pocket. Oh no, look, so this doesn't appear when it's in the chest, the red hat. Okay, well what I'm going to try... So I'll pull it back in the chest and have a sleep. Okay, if we look at my energy, yeah, so I need to sleep. What's the time? Currently it's midday. If I sleep, though, that would be midnight. And I don't want it to be dark when we're doing the next stage of this. So, okay, let's go to the next stage. I won't bother sleeping. I've got 60 energy. The main thing is for this inn is that chest and dumping everything in it. Uh, I will need that shoot, though. Even though it's going to have the stolen status on it. Let's equip it. There we go. Sword and shield. Um, absolutely butt naked. Right, well, bring you under close. Okay, so there's a good reason for that. And you're going to see why. Now, these chests, this one here, and this one here, not one. Anyway, there's a couple of chests in this inn, and I will be coming back to rob them at some point. Right, but for now, let's move on with the storyline. So, I'm going to try and do my vitality skill, train that by sprinting. So, for the moment, we're finished in Tarnberg, but we will be back. what the guards think seeing someone run by in their night clothes.
Now over here, there are some cattle. Maybe we'll hunt them later on, but there's guards out there, so maybe not. Wait, well, I don't think I am. No, I'm going that way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. My apology. I didn't go too far, but it's up that road I've got to go. I can't remember if there's any chest here that we can pop. I think there is. Let's go take a nosy. Oh yeah. Is there a door? No, no door to shut. But I hope they don't. to release that a bit for too long. Let's take a get, little getting used to that bit of Grosham. Bandages which is eating and make a bit level in stealth. Lovely. Right, it's, it's gone to the main quest line now, which is fine. Looks like they've already gone. Right, okay, so here we are, it's just jumped us along the road a bit. The very first thing you must do is loot every single wolf. And um, I'll show you why. Because you can get the dried fruits from them. That is why. And not only that, you're going to get little food to get through this next bit. But every single corpse, some of them just have brosham on them. That's fine. 
eat them all. Even the ones with food which is rotted, it can still be sold. Not for a great deal, but it will be sold. Look at all that dried. I think that's it from up there. So that's it. Okay, hey, so now we're going to come down here. It's some more corpses. Boot them all. Looking for them dried mushrooms. Okay, so for all of this, we can explore this at a later date. For now, that is not what I want to do. I want to loot these corpses on the ground because the food will all rot on them. Um, so it is important maybe to search along here a little. I don't think there's any more. So I think it's going this way we find the corpses. So just want to go and loot them now. Um, but we will come back at a later date to see what chests there are we pick the locks off. Right, now, here's the important bit, and this is what I wanted to show. This is why we've got a shield uh, with us. The reason we haven't got any clothing, you might be wondering, no armour. It's going to all get destroyed. <clears throat> if I had any armour on, it's going to get destroyed, so therefore it's not worth wearing it. I do not intend getting hit. Or, to put it another way, I do not do not intend, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I do not intend to get killed. Because remember, when you fight, the enemy has to get through your stamina bar before it gets onto your health bar. Hence the shield, hence why, when I did, um, oh, I can't remember what skill was it, it was. Do you remember the skill I did where 30% I do for yeah, Stronghold? This is why I got this skill. Blocking an opponent's strikes with your shield will cost you 30% less stamina. So my friends, what we're about to do now is train our defence. Increases the time you can hold a perfect block. Very nice that is. Or dodge as well as increasing the defence stat of weapons and shields. So yes, we're going to try it train the defense skill now is an excellent opportunity in the story in the storyline and in the game to train our defense why because up here we're going to find really weak bandits now i do recommend you fight one of the bandits around somewhere flat because he's going to knock you all over the place um so here's good and there is the bandit so what we're going to do draw our weapon we don't care if we annoy him uh, why is my shield not? Oh, it is there. Okay, now we're going to train our defense using this bandit. We're not going to kill him. We're just well, I never. The train. pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. 
Okay, now I'm going back here to the flat area. Now, you just press the Q key. You do not have to press use your mouse or any Lost other keys, only the Q key. And what it will do is it will focus the shield in a block, always pointing at the enemy. So as he moves around you, if you keep the Q key pressed, he's only going to damage a little bit of your stamina. And now you're going to see why we do this. Gonna take a little time, but you will see. You don't have to move around. Just keep the Q key pressed. You see, I'm not getting hurt at all. It's only eating into my stamina. So if he don't get through my stamina, he doesn't hurt me. Take that. Come and get it. Now you can't do this obviously with all foes. Some of the enemies will be too strong and they will rip through your stamina bar. But this is perfect. These bandits are perfect for training. There you go, look, yeah. new level in defense. Now you're fucked. If only he realized it were he with that. I could jab him. But I want to show you one of the perks that you can get with defense. I wonder if I'll be able to before the timer goes. We'll see. Ah, oh, there's a clinch. You're dead. Another clinch. Getting too close to each other. Oops, sometimes he'll knock you up in the air, it's alright. Move around, back away from him. What's the matter? Come on! My energy. I seem to be wheezing. Um, we're nearly halfway to. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this bandit off because there are more bandits we can train with. So I'm going to dice you can see his health in the bottom left there. He's down to half health. <laughs> and mercy kill. Oh no, he died before I could. Right, let's loot him. So we'll take all of that stuff. We will use that to improve our maintenance skill. Now they have a habit of dropping their weapons when they die. So that's one reason why you may be picking up the corpses. Because sometimes they can actually land on their weapon after they've dropped it. I think he did. I think it's rolled off. Pick him up. Oops, there's the timer. 
Maybe I did loot his weapon, drop him back down on the road. One bandit less in the world. Ah, oh, that's his weapon. Pick it up. Take a quick look at what that is. So, okay, yeah, oh, beautiful. That is exactly what you want with weapons. Either them to be on bladed weapons, like axes and swords. You want them to be on zero or in the red, because we're going to take that to a grindstone, and we're going to skill up our maintenance skill. Uh, definite. Look at that, it's still on zero. That we've got to check. We'll do that every time we get a nice weapon that nearly because we can uh, with weapons not with armor but with weapons you can use the grindstone to get them right up to a hundred percent and so we're going to get tons of maintenance skill so that's really cool anyway the time has gone and there are more bandits the next bandit I am going to come across I'm going to train my defense uh, skill I'm going to train my defense skill to um, level 12 because that's what I need in order to get these late skills. So the next bandit I come across, I'm not going to record doing it because obviously that will take too long. So what I'm going to do is just loot the corpses, uh, train my defense to quite level 12 and then I will start recording next episode. Anyway, little then. There's looting to be done. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.